believe. And this question reads as follows. Other things being equal, the law of demand suggests that as A, demand for a commodity increased when the price of commodity increases. B, demand for economy increases when the price of commodity decreases. C, demand increases due to an increase in consumer income. And D, when consumer expectations increase, it will lead to a decrease in demand. Our junior tutor has written that the answer is B, demand for a commodity increases when the price of a commodity decreases. Uh, and this is the correct answer. So the law of demand suggests that other things remaining the same, demand for a commodity are inversely related to the changes in price. The other determinants of demand, like the price of related goods, the income of the consumer, tastes and preferences of the consumer and consumer expectations do not contribute to the law of demand, which essentially describes the relationship between the price and demand of a commodity. Hence, when the price of any commodity decreases in the market, it will lead to an increase in quantity demanded by the consumer. So basically, it, we're gonna write that if price is gonna go up, people are going to demand less. Similarly, if the price falls, people are going to demand more. Maybe going back to like a burger from works. Yeah, I think it's like maybe like 15 bucks or something, I don't know. Um, but say say it's now $30 to get a burger at works. A lot of people are gonna say, mm, no, I'll probably go somewhere else, get a different burger. Similarly, if the price were to fall to, you know, like $5 or so, you'd expect works to have an uptick in business. Um, I'll actually graph that quickly still. So if we were to draw our typical graph here, we've got quantity on the x-axis and price on the y-axis. And here we've got our supply and demand. Of course, this is the equilibrium point. That's our Q star. And this is gonna be our P star. Now, if we're at this point here, and we've got the price very, very high, P, I'll call it PH, H for high, they're gonna make every unit they do sell, the firm is gonna make a lot of money on it because they're charging this difference in price, right? However, they're only gonna sell this many units. Similarly, if they have a really low price, like this, call that P low, they're gonna sell a whole lot of units, right? However, the, the units aren't worth that much, so they're not making that much money off of it. Let's call this Q high. You get the gist of it, this thing drives me nuts. Uh, we'll run through one more question here. Uh, before I call it a night, so I'm going to say perfect write up the answer. Solution is correct. Question.